Hey everybody. What's up? It's mail call time and our Christmas announcement for our giveaway. This is yeah. third or fourth year we've been doing that now. Third year. Third year we've been doing the giveaway. We were too poor in the beginning. Um, we did but, it the first year actually. Did we? Yeah. Okay. Well, we gave we went, stuff. We were picking in the meat truck and we were pulling uh, yeah. random stuff out. So we, uh, so yeah, the, what we do for everybody that's new to all this, we've been doing the mail call for a, a couple, for a little while now, I guess basically the whole year. Yep. Um, we've been doing mail call just cause people were sending us stuff and we thought it would be kind of fun to share what we found and everybody's stories and whatever. But we've been doing the Christmas giveaway, um, for three years now. We actually did one, uh, Christmas in July this year. And basically it's just us giving stuff away. It started out when we were like getting 50 views that I was just giving crap away off the shelf and it was, you know, it was just a total loss for me, but I thought it was really fun for everybody. Last year we gave away a bunch more stuff. I gave away like a 33 or four pickup grill. Um, really cool. This year, we're able to get a bunch of sponsors involved. We're going to be giving some stuff away. So we'll announce that a little bit, maybe halfway through or the end. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. But we have a lot of boxes because we've been traveling. So we're going to start opening stuff up, show you what we got. And uh, yeah, some of this might end up to you as part of the prizes, depending on what we get or how much we get. All right, so mine is, uh, this is actually, I think, one of the last ones that came. Um, this is from BJK in uh, Clute, Texas. Old Texas. Holy crap, there's all kinds of stuff in here. This is a hundred dollar bills? <laughs> mm, probably not. All right, so <clears throat> we got a letter in here and a bunch of stuff. So just want to, says, uh, dear Iron Trap, just want to say thank you for all the hard work everyone puts in to provide us with a quality show like Iron Trap Garage. I've enclosed a few items I recently found while cleaning out my storage shed. They can consisted of my deceased father's junk he collected over the years. He saved everything from rocks to miscellaneous car parts and tools. He passed away at... I think it says 85. I think 85, 17 years ago. Hope you enjoy this and forward it on for someone else. His pleasure if you decide not to keep it. The metalworking book is a 1940s Texas school shop class book. Um, wouldn't it be nice to have shop classes back in schools like we did? I enjoy the show. Um, and it says, uh, from Bobby K and, uh, we, it gives me his pronouncement, uh, pronouncing his last name, but we actually usually leave the last names out. So, so this is a bunch of neat stuff. Like he mentioned, some of the stuff we're going to put in our packages. So I'm going to keep this cause I always break these, but Ooh, yeah. soapstone with the little holder that's going right in the drawer here. Cause I eat those all the time. This is super cool. Little. Pennzoil. Like is that a pocket protector? Pocket protector, man. That's cool. So I think we'll put that in one of our giveaway things. That's neat. Um, this is really cool. I'm actually going to keep this because I keep these around the shop. I have one similar, but Popular Science 20 in 1 Shop Guide. So if you guys go to yard sales and flea markets and stuff, this is the kind of crap that's kind of like you can't get this stuff anymore. It's, it's pretty valuable in a shop, um, but it gives you like different uh, conversions. It gives you like how to dr sharpen a drill bit um, and uh, wood chiseled grinding gauge, all, all kinds of stuff that's really helpful. I have one in my toolbox in this drawer. I have one by the lathe. So you, it's just a quick thing you can look at for different stuff, bolt screws, sizes. So this is really cool. Keeping that being selfish. Um, this is the, oh, this is really cool. The Overland Whippet Operation and Care Book. So this is a, uh, the actual manual from an Overland Whippet. And it is copyright 1926. Wow. That's really cool. And there's a piece of paper in there. I don't know. Oh, it's a, uh, well, let's see what this says. This is probably the last time it was read. Oh, no, this is a uh, horse, horseless carriages go on the auction block. 1928 Whippet to be auctioned. <laughs> Oh, this manual is cool. It shows you everything. It gives you a full uh, breakdown of the rear end. So back when instruction manuals just didn't warn you not to like hurt yourself using the cigarette lighter, um, they actually showed you how to work on your car and repair it, which is really cool. Uh, here's a Model, Model A Ford Club of America patch, which is really neat. We're going to put that in a giveaway. Um, I think I might have one, but I think this would be cool for one of our fans. Um, boiling temp of water at converted pressure. A little pocket guide. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Are you keeping and, that? Uh, we can give that to somebody. I don't know if I'll use that too often. 
too often. This I am definitely keeping. So this is the General Shop Metalwork book, which is really handy. You guys know that I love old books and things like that. So this is, uh, I'm gonna give this a read. And I probably have a lot of this information in some other books, but it's neat to read through. And when I'm done, I'll pass it on to somebody else. So, ooh, and, oh, sticker pack. We're giving it away. Get some Apple stickers. <laughs> good job. Look, looking good. Good idea. You're really something. That's nice. So we're going to give that away to a winner. So thank you um, for that, BJ, Bobby. That's awesome. <clears throat> Go ahead. All right, so this one is from Scott in Oakland, California. It says, Dear Matt, Kate, Moon, Mike, just want to join in on the fun of circulating abundance as a... Did I read that right? Wicks. Fun of circulating abundance as a way of expressing my gratitude for many oh. hours of knowledge and entertainment. Keep having fun at what you do. It adds immensely to what you do. Yours from, from Scott. Scott. There's snacks in here. Kate's, miss, Kate's missing out. Kate's actually sleeping in. So we just started filming without her. So she's going to be angry. She might just run in here and be like, what the heck? Haggerty bag. Oh, cool. That's good. These are for Kate. I think we're going to. Oh. Chili and lime. They're puffed wheat snacks. Puffed wheat snacks. I like how Kate's name's on stuff now so that we don't eat it. When actually she's the one who usually eats all the snacks. That, that one's get for, to... they're labeled for us. Yeah, cool. So Kate will definitely enjoy the snacks. MG Workshop Manual. That's cool. Uh, it's actually a really thick book. Jesus. I don't have an MG or plan on owning one, but we can definitely. Oh, look at that, it gives you. Oh, wow. That's actually really neat. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Little wood car. I got a, a ton of little toy cars and little hot rod stuff like this on some shelves in the office and in the basement. So we will. The key to there. metal bumping. That we're gonna actually give away. I actually own that book. Um, so I, I'm gonna be honest. I, I've had that book. This is probably like one of the most important books if you're learning how to do uh, body repair. repair. Uh, it gives you all the hammers and different stuff. Martin wrote it in like, I wanna say the 20s. Uh, originally, and it's been reissued a bunch of times. Eastwood offers them right on their website. You can buy them. Got mine from Eastwood, even I think before I worked for Eastwood. It was published in 1931. There you go. So we're gonna actually give that away to, uh, let's give that away to the second place winner. We're gonna give that, is gonna be one of our prizes. So later on, when we tell you all the neat stuff we're giving away, you get that too. Mike's box bigger than mine. What the heck? Oh, of course I'm for you. Oh, thank you. We'll give this to Moon here in a second. Oh, this is neat. They're little train cars. Oh, killer. Budweiser. <laughs> now you need a train set for Christmas I to do. run around. I don't have one. Neighbors love that. That's oh, neat. man, that is really cool. It's the main car. Thank you. Not to break it. Cool. They're fragile. Yes, they are. Now I gotta try and not break them. Yes. <laughs> Thank awesome. So thank it. you for that. And again, if you're first time watching this or you guys forget, whenever people give stuff away, we also send things back. So we will reciprocate to you uh, as well with some uh, some Iron Trap swag yes. for that. So thank you so much for that. Oh, I this. That was in the... Yeah, that was soapstone. The round soapstone one. Being, being greedy. Moving here. This one I've had for quite a while. I apologize. This is from Kirk H. Uh, he's from Tacoma, Washington. He sent this probably like right after the last mail call, so it's been sitting here for too long, but we've been so busy we haven't had a chance to do mail call. So I know what's in this, but uh, we're going to... So... Ooh, yeah. It's good. Some good stuff. So it's uh, some really good coffee it's from Val... espresso blend. Oh my God. From Val Valhalla Coffee Co. in Tacoma, Washington. He mentioned he is a coffee snob, and he said that we we need to try some of this uh, bean coffee. He gave, so uh, he works at Homage Tattoo, and he gave us a little thing with his, uh, his Class Act Kirk is his username, so if you guys do the Instagram thing, you can look him up there. Um, and he, again, he's in Tacoma, Washington. He does the tattoo thing, which I hate tattoos. They're for sailors and thieves. It's a cool sticker. Um, yeah, give us some cool stickers. So I'm going to put one or two of these on the shop door and we'll put like one or two in the one in the uh, thing. We got some matchbooks, homage tattoo company, and a beanie, which Mike could use a beanie. 
I could. And a button. Tacoma. So all, I've never seen anyone advertise on uh, Matchbooks. It's kind of smart. Yeah, it's been a, been a while since that was a thing. So yeah, we got the we got that. I'm very excited about the coffee because this is some high test stuff, and we have a coffee bean grinder. I didn't know that for years. And Kate, like <laughs> somebody else, sent us coffee, and I'm like, how are we gonna grind this? And she's like, with the coffee grinder we have. I'm like, what? We have a coffee. Yeah, grinder. here I am buying Dunkin' Donuts like pre ground crap, and I'm like. We didn't have the high test stuff. So thank you, Kirk. I can't wait to try some of this. I'm gonna try some later this morning. Uh, we're gonna try some of that out. So that is awesome. And uh, Valhalla Coffee Co. is where he got it from. If anybody's interested, you can check them out. They have all kinds of craziness. It's supposed to be the the high high end coffee. This is me. This is artwork for you. Oh, cool. <gasps> Oh wow, I think he tagged us and I reposted this. I didn't know. Um, anyways, sorry. Uh, so this is from Blaine uh, and his username on Instagram. I think we actually posted a story of this. I didn't even know that we got this. Um, Art by Blaine, at Art by Blaine, A-R-T-B-Y Blaine. Give him a follow for sure. Um, so he said, hey Matt, I really like watching your videos on you bringing back old hot rods. I thought you would like this picture of your Pagoda Coupe. I'll probably post it on my Instagram. I'm also working on a project myself as my first car, a 1953 Ford two-door ranch wagon. That's pretty amazing first car. That I'll turn into a early 50s mild custom. My dad, uh, Kurt, Kurtz West at Curtis Garage on Instagram is a Tide Rods member and so am I. Another member you might know is our good friend, Charlie Haskell of North Palm Speed, yes. We went and visited Charlie. He has a crazy awesome collection of stuff and a freaking beautiful property uh, out in Oregon. So um, thank you for that, Blaine. This is this awesome drawing. I actually just reposted this on Instagram the other day. So um, Blaine is a very talented artist and this is really, really cool. Um, so I'm gonna hang this up in the office so that it doesn't get damaged out here in the shop. But thank you for that, that is very flattering. And we're gonna get you guys some, some gear uh, back out. So thank you for that blame. We appreciate it So this next package is actually from the guy that won our Christmas in July grand prize. Really? Oh, yes. awesome. Mr. So cool. B. Partain. Yes So it says gentlemen enclosed enclosed. Uh, this is addressed to the wrong people apparently <laughs> Gentlemen, <yeah. laughs> Closed our a few items as a thank you for your efforts one roll of Felpro gasket material Killer uh, two cans of my favorite coffee. Give it a try and enjoy one crescent bar, pry bar featured by you guys on Tools That Don't uh, Sucks episode. Oh yeah. Per perhaps for your next grand prize winner. Oh, there we go. Idea. Yeah, that will do that. Uh, one lot of blue shop towels used as packing material. <laughs> yes, I can 100% use these yes. because they, yeah, we. Hope you guys get some use out of these items. If not, pass along. As always, great channel. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. So the we racks. always leave the garage with nasty, dirty hands because there's never enough racks. rags. So yeah, I, I, we had. I think we're just through the last batch that another viewer sent us, Ooh. which is great. Original French Market coffee Ooh, from sure. New Orleans, Louisiana. Killer. I can Cafe so, Du Monde. He sent so many rags. I mean, I mean we're, oh, that's so great. Uh, we love the coffee thing. That's oh, that's awesome. Here yeah, gasket material I can always use. That's, that's yes, a, and here is the Crescent Pry Bar. Yeah, this thing is awesome. I think um, Boxcar, sent Boxcar us. way back when we kind of were just starting to get some buzz going with the channel, Boxcar sent us one, and I, I do use it quite often. So yes. this is a really good handy tool. It's like a you can adjust the head, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's just a neat all-around tool. So we'll put that for the grand prize winner. I'm super psyched that people are donating stuff for this. This is what this is all about, giving back. And more. More shop rocks. So awesome, thank you for that. That's amazing. Mike's gonna get some coffee, I get some coffee. That is here with Kate. Oh, I get the Boo. Denim, I get the Denon can. I see how yeah, it is. Yeah, that's how it is. Hey, All right, so we're gonna send you some goods back. Here you go. Maybe we need some rules, because he if he wins the grand prize winner again, that'll be messed yes, up. Yes, if you, if you win grand prize once, you can't win for 10 yeah. years. 10 years, 10 years. <laughs> So this is, uh, this is from Jim DeSoto. Um, he does the Old Time Jalopy Association. If you do uh, the Facebook thing, um, he actually runs that page on there, which is really neat. They, it's a, just a kind of community of people that are into this old time hot rod and race car stuff. And uh, he runs that page. Is and his address on there? 
and oh, it's on the front. All right, just don't tear his address off. Cut this open. Anyways, he runs that page. It's really cool. I'm going to try and open this without wrecking the address, so we can. We've send done a lot of mail calls without any injuries, so. So this is some stickers from uh, from Jim. This is his little uh, page he's starting. He has some neat stickers. It's really cool, you know, no BS kind of page. So I'm going to keep one or two for myself, and we're going to throw uh, some in for uh, our grand prize winners uh, for the Christmas giveaway. So thank you for that, Jim. We'll send some stickers back your way as well. So I believe this is probably should be addressed to Kate. This is from <laughs> Dave in Paul Tuckett, Rhode Island. Addresses. Snacks. Snacks, oh my God. These are Jack's cheese curls. We got three bags of them. It's really great because Kate's not here because she's She's being lazy in the house, so uh, we're going to. <laughs> she's not being lazy. She's just sleeping in. Yeah, she's just sleeping in. So uh, maybe I can give some of these as her stocking stuffers for Christmas and take the credit. <laughs> that would be great. They're like, look at these snacks I got you. Yeah. So thank you for that. That's awesome. We will. Uh, we'll send some swag back your way. We love snacks. the snacks. Oh, what is this? In the mail call, or not the mail call. In the Christmas giveaway. Kate is going to be selecting snacks to send to Hand selected snacks yes. from our area. So this big box was sent uh, not too long ago, beginning of November. Uh, this is from George L. in Litchfield, Ohio. And it's packed, I can already tell very well. I'm just gonna sit here and eat cheese. Curls. Nate's gonna be very excited about that bag. Yeah. I love cheese curls. Cheese curls! Dad's the best. Oh. That's why Uncle Matt rules. He, he makes Dad take <clears throat> cheese curls in. All right. Here you go. Okay. Hi, Matt. When you asked me if I had any parts left from my 1932, sorry I don't have any, that's another story. I felt so bad that I didn't. Ha I didn't. I'm sending you something I think you will like. The Hot Rod books. If you already have them, you can pass them on. The small parts, parts, I'm sure you can use them. The posters, maybe you can find a spot on the wall for at least one of them. I hope you enjoy the items as much as I enjoy your shows. Oh yeah, the knife, no mechanic should be without one. Um, he And he's asking for a black flathead t-shirt, XL would be nice. So, holy crap. Oh cool. So I got a Thunderbird sign. It's pretty cool. It's like a porcelain um, Thunderbird sign. That's neat. Wanted good woman. Must be able to clean, cook, sew, wax aircraft, and navigate. Must have airplane and hangar. Please send picture of plane and hangar. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Actually, it works because this used to be an airplane hangar. That's a, that's a really good one. Uh, this one is you dirty rat rat rod, so that'll be cool. We'll we'll probably throw that one in the uh, in the giveaway for sure. Oh moly! Look at all these little oh these are super handy little screw clips. You put them in all these little like they're like peach they're like oh. little, little like peach things. Wow, there's a whole bunch of them, different. Oh, sizes. these are super handy. Thank you for these. These are this is the stuff that like you're like man, I wish I had one of these. Now you have. I have like one of every size, so. Cups of them. Super handy, thank you. 32 parts I can't expect everybody to have and give to me. Um, but I gotta ask, you know how it goes. Um, so posters for Matt, and then there's some books down there if you wanna choose. Definitely gonna share the wealth on these. This is awesome. Paint can opener. Wow. You do need one of those. I do need you one of those. Always open them with screwdrivers. Yeah, yeah. Oop, and a knife. Oh, sweet. Kind of nice. Pocket knife. I'll open that then. Then we got books. Wow, these are actually really nice books. Barris Custom. Oh, killer. Building muscle. Awesome. How to make a good engine great. <laughs> the Barris Custom one is amazing. I'm going to probably keep that one in my collection. I'm going to read the. Uh, the muscle one, and then we're going to put that in our Christmas giveaway, just to share the wealth a little bit. Still two more books yet. Jeez. Oh, you definitely need to learn this one. How to, hot rod how to. <laughs> Build a hot rod step by step. 
That's pretty cool. I probably do need help with that because I'm sure I do it wrong, according to the YouTube comments. Mm -hmm. Oh, and paint your own car. Paint car tutorial. Very cool. So we're gonna pick a couple of those books. I'm gonna page through myself, and then we're gonna put them in the. Uh, oh, they're giveaway. all they're all published by the National Street Machine Club. Oh, killer. There. So he also sent us some posters. These are vintage at this point. It's crazy to think the 90s are kind of vintage. 1996 Mac Tools. It's a 33 five window coupe calendar. That's really cool. Did you check eBay to see what these are worth before you sent them to me? 95. 95 with a 32, uh, two 32s. Super cool. I will not mention how old I was in 1995. There geez. Oh man, these are like the best Mac tool. Look at that. And they're not like naked ladies, so we can actually put them up and YouTube won't demonetize us. And last one. It's a crazy little, oh, it's a Rio Speed. Little delivery truck. So awesome, thank you for that. I appreciate it, we're gonna send you a t-shirt back. Uh, we're gonna put, ooh, this is a killer knife. Made by Colt. Cool. Yes. Hey, that's that's actually really nice. I'm gonna start carrying this around. I'm not 100% sure what this is for. That is a distributor hold down, an old chrome one. Oh, yeah. good thing you know, because I do not. <laughs> Mike's like, what is this thing? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's an old chrome one, we love that. Thank you for the knife, that's going right in my pocket. This is the most interesting box we've gotten yet. I didn't even know his name, uh, what's his name? So we got Looney Tune stickers. Mike's gonna blur out your address, don't Not worry. even that. There's a like pinstripe. Yeah, it's like a pinstripe design here. We'll get a photo to drop in. And there is like one, two, three times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my god, there's there is a crap ton of stamps that are all, I think, like vintage stamps. And there's like Looney Tunes and all different ones, but he literally, old school is the only rule. I love that. But he sent, uh, and he also, and he paid 10 bucks on top of like his whole stamp collection. So that was pretty, pretty crazy. We're like, holy crap. Iron Trap Garage. That's us. Lucky Chubb Hurst, Lucky Strokes, old school pinstriping in Howl's Cave, New York. So that is, uh... all right. Matt, Mike, Kate, just, want, just wanted to send you a small token of my appreciation for all of your hard work putting together content for your awesome channel. Why don't you get a razor blade? Uh, for hard work putting together the content of your awesome channel. Enclosed, you will find a clock that I made, painted and striped, an emergency toolkit for one of your vehicles, and a uh, striped parts tray. Oh, that is so killer. It's an old beer tray, right? Probably, yeah. What so. beer tray did you cannibalize? <laughs> I'm currently working on a 1969 F100 bump side pickup that ha has almost 50 different modifications done to it, thanks 60s custom, many of which have been inspired by Gene Winfield. Thanks again and keep up the great work. Uh, Chubb Hurst. P.S. If you're ever in upstate New York, Howl's Cave area, please give me a shout. We'll love to sit down and chat over a cold adult beverage. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, this is crazy, actually. <laughs> and we got more rags, man. Lots of rags. T-shirt rags. Just make sure they're not like vintage Black Sabbath or something that we that I'll actually wear. Holy crap, this is crazy. Wow, it says Iron Trap on it. Just gotta find the clock fingers for it. <laughs> That's actually really neat. That is super cool. Oh, right here, clock hands. Wow. That's incredible. Look at that thing. Somebody sent us their dirty laundry. Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's all right. Super cool, my gosh. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. That's really neat. Thank you. That is, that's cool. Um, we're actually running sort of out of wall space in here, but I've been planning like an upgrade uh, for 
maybe another building next door. So we already have a bunch of cool stuff like this we're gonna be putting in there. Um, this is just awesome. So cool, thank you so much. That's probably our emergency toolkit. Yep. Yes, we definitely need that. Whoa. First off. Pinstriped, killer. I guess if you're a pinstriper, you kind of have to pinstripe yeah, like everything. everything. That's so cool. Oh, killer. Got a whole little toolkit that came in here that you put together for us. Sockets and everything. So this is, uh, this is actually really awesome. I, I, uh, I have like a half-assed kit in the Pagoda City Coop, but it's definitely not complete like this. So I actually think I'm gonna put this right in the coop because that's probably the one that- yeah, It literally has everything you need. Yeah, safety wire, electrical tape, a tester, test light, cutters, a adjustable. Little, a little multimeter. Yeah. That's really rad. Thank you, that is awesome. The clock is really awesome. This is really useful and awesome. So that's amazing. Thank you so much. I'm really psyched on that. And uh, we'll be sending you back some, uh, some goodies back your way for sure. All right, so we went through all of our boxes. Before we get to the giveaway, we have one that was next day aired to us that was perishable that we obviously, <laughs> we already opened it. I think we ate all of it already. I'm still going through it, but uh, John, John S. from Wisconsin yes. sent us a care package of meats and cheeses, mainly cheeses, obviously, from being from Wisconsin. Yes. Uh, and he sent us like every type of cheese I think that is possibly made from there. There was a lot of cheese. And we are still eating it. Kate and I love cheese, absolutely love cheese. And we have been slowly going through it. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that I don't stop myself up for ever. Yeah. Set and die. And there was also away. bratwurst and I think it were beef sticks. Matt's obviously a vegetarian, so I was able to enjoy those. And that ham's. You got that oh yeah, the ham's truck. I forgot about that. You got too. a little yeah. ham's truck. So we took some photos, which we obviously will drop here of that. But unfortunately, we couldn't watch it. We couldn't open it on camera because you know it was in like cold bags and everything. So thank you, John. We're gonna definitely get you some some swag, good swag for that because yes. that was a lot of cheese. I'm not complaining. It was amazing, overwhelming, and we're actually still going through it all. <laughs> so um, that one, we we could just take a photo of it. We couldn't open it on yeah. camera. So. It was delicious. It was awesome. So. Take number two. There was a box in a box we already opened because I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, this is, we're so totally unorganized. This is ridiculous. So I'm gonna try and open this. So this one is uh, from Jay Morawski in take a photo of that. Bradenton, Florida. Oh, Bradenton. Bradenton, that's it. I can't pronounce anything. We were just not far from there. You're supposed to cut away from yourself, not towards your jugular. <laughs> I like to live on the edge. We just end the channel with nail caulk with Matt. Matt passes away. <laughs> Matt bleeds out. That's why Mike take. That's why Mike, Mike takes a photo ahead of time. Ha! All right. This is kind of heavy for the size. Lug nuts. Whoa! All right. I know what they are, but we're gonna read the lug. Here, you, you show them. I'm actually really psyched on those. Matt, longtime enthusiast, bit of a fabricator, really do enjoy your channel. These clips have been around the shop for 70 plus years and haven't found a home. Help, <laughs> Joe. Uh, for thank spark plugs, right? Yeah, these are like the Raja clips or whatever for spark plugs that you would see on the old hot rods that are, uh, most of them are reusable. They just like thread in. But uh, yeah, these are fantastic. Yeah, these are neat. Sorry we almost forgot your package. Yeah, Feel these, bad now. these I'm actually gonna be using very, very soon. So thank you so much. These are awesome. We will get you a little care package back. Sorry we almost forgot your box. All right, now we're gonna announce the winners, or yeah. not winners, we're gonna announce the prizes for our- uh, Christmas giveaway. Yeah. All right, it is that time. We have the official document. Official document we wrote on the back of a the Springfield swap mean car show paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so what we do for the Christmas giveaway deal, uh, it's super simple, we don't get extravagant. Anybody that uh, drops us a comment down below, this year what we'll do is drop a comment with your favorite video or memory from the 2020 year on the Iron Trap channel, and that gets you entered into the contest to win for free 
anywhere in the world, we'll ship the stuff wherever. If the other brands that are involved uh, don't want to pay the shipping, I will gladly pay the shipping myself for shipping anywhere in the world. It keeps it fun. Um, and we do three, three prizes. Comment has to be on this video. Yeah, this video. That's Please definitely. don't send us an email, comment on this video. This video. So if you comment down below on this video with like your favorite video or memory from the 2020 year uh, or in general, uh, that will uh, be a nice way for us to gauge what type of videos you guys like. And also it's just a fun way to get you guys entered and maybe it'll get some conversation going in the comments. So. Um, with the channel getting bigger, what's really great is we have, we actually have a lot of companies reaching out to us asking to sponsor, and I'm pretty darn particular about who I let, believe it or not, send us free stuff when it comes to a company, uh, because we want to align ourselves with, with brands that are really into this uh, hobby for the right reason and align with what we believe in. So um, we went to a couple of our of guys that, um, and gals with brands that worked with us over the past year, and they agreed to donate some really killer stuff. So I'm just gonna read off some of this stuff. Some of it, the brands are gonna be sending you directly. So first place uh, prize is gonna be just- There's a lot of good stuff. Outrageous this year. So um, from Iron Trap, what we're gonna be giving is number one, we're gonna give like a grab bag of some of the neat stuff that we got from the mail call videos, which will be really cool. So you'll get some surprises in there old stuff and, and maybe some handmade things that people have given us or, or, or whatever um, that I didn't already hang up or, or keep myself. Uh, you're also gonna get an Iron Trap Garage uh, hoodie and beanie from us. Zip right. up or pull over, whichever you prefer. Yeah, I like zip ups. But, um, so then uh, another, probably our other biggest uh, company we're involved with, and I, I obviously work for Eastwood, uh, is the Eastwood company. They support us obviously and help us out with tools and and just kind of let us do some of this craziness that we do, which is really great. And uh, we obviously have the, the Eastwood um, ITG15 code that we started this year that was like basically a thank you to any Iron Trap follower, you get 15% off of your order and just lets Eastwood know that you are coming from the Iron Trap uh, family. Uh, so with Eastwood, we're gonna be giving you a Contour SCT stripping tool. So that is that big drum sander that I use in a lot of videos when we're stripping frames and stripping paint. We strip the T down and get it all in bare metal with it. It is a beast of a tool, I love it. And uh, we're gonna get you set up with one of those and a drum uh, to get you going on that. And then if you need any extra drums, Eastwood obviously sells those. Um, next one uh, that is a big one is we've recently partnered with Stuart Warner Gages. Stuart Warner obviously is like the I most- I actually have a Stuart Warner shirt on today. Do you really? I do. Ah, yeah. I was wearing that one when we got the, the Deuce Third, Roadster. Yeah. Um, so, Stuart Warner uh, is a great partnership. We've been trying to, you know, we've been work, trying to work some things out with them, and they agreed to kind of get involved with the channel, which is great. It makes so much sense because uh, I hunt for all these crazy old Stuart Warner gauges that cost a bajillion dollars to find and have restored. Stuart Warner has been embracing some of those vintage gauges that we collect and offering like brand new ones that you can get that look like. 99.9% .9 correct and really makes the most sense because you can get it right out of the box and just use them. So, Stuart Warner is giving this way, this year a Stuart Warner set of wings, six gauge kit that's gonna get you a tack, a speedo, water temp, oil pressure, uh, volts, and fuel gauge, um, and maybe one more. Something I'll like add that. all the corrections to that. Yeah. <laughs> but Stuart Warner's giving away a set of wings gauges, which is like, I didn't even get a set of wings gauges, so it's pretty pretty awesome. So they're giving away a set of gauges. Um, they're gonna actually be mailing them to us, so we will mail those gauges with all of our swag. Um, next one is, we hinted at it already, the Gilmore Museum. It is basically like the biggest antique car museum, and if, it is, if that's not correct, it is the best antique car museum in the United States. Um, they have a huge, museum that is just incredible. You saw we did a little travel video there. We actually have already filmed like three, four, five videos there that we're gonna be launching in the spring to kind of get people excited, obviously, to go and, and support the museum. Uh, they're doing great things, they're, they're expanding, and it's just, it, it's really probably the most overwhelming car museum I've ever been to, and I've been to museums all over the world. I've been to Porsche Museum and, and all over the place. And this was definitely the most overwhelming as far as like variety of cars. So. Gilmore is giving away a pair of tickets to get into the Gilmore Museum for the day. 
and we're throwing in lunch on me. So you go to the 1941, the vintage 1941 diner they ha they have there, and uh, they'll probably give you a ticket, but you can say lunch is on that, and uh, we'll get you lunch and free tickets for you and uh, a partner to get in there and wander for the day and enjoy it. it is, even if you're not local, it's worth the road trip to go out there and check it out for the day. You'll have trouble seeing it in just one day, like even sun up to sundown. Yeah, definitely make sure to spend an entire day there. There's so much stuff to see. And if you can work it out, they do like really great like car shows and also cruise-ins like I think Wednesday nights. So if you can schedule it just right, you can do the whole like museum and stay for the evening for like a cruise-in or something like that. So thank you to them for doing that. It's been really, really awesome. Uh, next one we did, jumped in on the uh, the July Christmas in July with Speed and Culture. Uh, they're giving away a one year subscription, as well as shirts and uh, and stickers. They're giving away I'm sorry a, a shirt and stickers. They're giving away so you're gonna get a one year subscription for the first place winner T-shirt and some stickers. Um, they do a really great magazine. It's actually like a double sided. It's like half is like earlier style hot rods and then the other one flip over you get the 60s, 70s stuff. It's a really unique magazine and uh, Trent, Chuck and crew are doing a fantastic job. This is the stuff that we like to see in this hobby that individuals are creating really neat uh, niches of their own and, uh, and it's good to support them. So thank you for that. Uh, next one is Cheater Slick Culture. So Cheater Slick Culture, you can find them on Instagram and different forms of social media, but they, they are always uh, posting some really great content and they make some really kick-ass hot rod apparel. So they do some t-shirts, hats, all that stuff that is really awesome. They are giving out a, a, a t-shirt and a trucker hat uh, for the first place winner of that. They will get with you and you can get your size and, and, and the style of shirt and trucker hat that you want. Next one is also another apparel brand, Rod and Style. They're offering up a free t-shirt to the first place winner, which will be uh, really, really fantastic. So that is the first place winner. That is a lot of stuff. I should, that, is, that is a ton. I should have added up how much it is because it's, it's, it's actually a lot of stuff and, and we're really thankful that all these sponsors um, are able to kind of help out and give back as well mm -hmm. as what we're giving yeah. away ourselves. So second place, uh, you're getting a Gilmore long sleeve t-shirt. You're getting a Speed and Culture, uh, a, a handful of back issues and some stickers. Um, Cheater Culture is gonna be giving away a t-shirt. Rod and Style also giving away a t-shirt. Um, Eastwood is gonna be giving away another one of my favorite tools and that is the screw, screw Buster tool. So that is a tool that you can put into your air chisel or air rivet gun. You guys see me use it quite often in the videos and you can put a Phillips head or flat head. I use the flat head obviously and you can use the vibration and hammering function from an air chisel to actually break screws loose. It, on these old Fords, it is literally a lifesaver. If you don't have one, you need to get one. I have used the crap out of mine and uh, it still is going strong other than just replacing bits for me abusing it. So they're gonna be giving away one of those screw busters and then uh, us, Iron Trap, that's us. Um, we're giving away a t-shirt and a beanie is what we're giving away. So third place, still getting some cool stuff. Uh, Gilmore's giving away a coffee mug. Mug, uh, some mug. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, says Speed and Culture is giving away a shirt and stickers to third place. Um, Cheater Culture, um, Rod and Style. Cheater Culture and Rod and Style are both giving away t-shirts. You can tell I've been talking way too much in this video. Um, Eastwood's gonna be giving away a banner. Um, oh, we forgot to mention that. First and second place, you're also getting Eastwood banners. I. It's just, written there, he just ignored I it just apparently. Ignored it. But everybody's getting, you all get banners, Eastwood banners. So uh, third place is just getting a Eastwood banner, a shop banner you can hang up in your shop and an Iron Trap Garage t-shirt. So that is all the stuff. Again, if you want to enter, drop a comment down below with your favorite video or moment from 2020 on the Iron Trap channel. We thank you so much for everybody that supported us. We're going to be announcing this on the 20th. We're going to be going live for a Sunday service on December 20th, the Sunday before Christmas. We're going to do a Sunday service live, and we're going to do a Q&A like we always do, give some updates on projects, and then we're going to announce the top three winners from the comments. Uh, so if you're able to, definitely watch that video live, or if you can't, watch the recorded version, because if you were picked, you definitely want to watch the video. Uh, if we don't, if we do pick you and you don't get back to us within like a week, we're going to then pick the next person down below. We'll have some backups for that as well. So thank you guys for everything. We appreciate it. And uh, we can't wait to do this uh, more in 2021. Thanks guys. Catch you later.